Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to recap what Dr. Patrapurthi Mdattu has taught in the Structural Biology class um, LS3203 in, the first, in his first lecture um, so he said about the syllabus and so to explain the syllabus um, the tools that are used to know the 3D structures these are NMR and there are two other types um, uh, he is not going to cover NMR because um, Ritu Pandamam has, has already covered NMR and the two other types that are there that are first that is related to X-ray related and the second part and is related to electron microscopy so the first part which is X-ray related covers um, I mean includes X-ray crystallography and small angle X-ray scattering which whose short form is SACS S A C S A X S, and the second part is electron microscopy related. Um, at first, actually, he's going to teach us um, this electron microscopy related part. It includes um, TAM and SIM, that is transmission electron microscopy, and scanning electron microscopy, and uh, uh, scanning electron microscopy actually tells about the surface and transmission electron microscopy actually tells about the both about the surface and the internal parts and then um, there is cryo electron microscopy and in cryo there are of the there are two types um, there is single particle cryo EM, EM electron microscopy that is SP cryo EM or cryo electron tomography or cryo ET whose short form is this and, and um, SP cryo EM or single particle cryo my electron microscopy was quite useful during the COVID times to uncover the structures and now the thing is that uh, why so many types of um, tools are used to to find out the 3D structure well the thing is um, doing, um, for some for different things different types of tools are easier to use and the, uh, so different types of tools are used furthermore than that um, there the result obtained from the different types of tools is actually different has some differences um, that's it and the thing is uh, NMR according to sir what he said that um, X-ray crystallography is generally used but in some cases when if the crystals cannot be formed then X-ray crystallography cannot be used and that is it then he said that NMR has a small range and in the beginning he actually said that um, function of us of something depends on the structure of a biomolecule actually depends on the structure and the structure depends on the condition on the environment around it and then he said that globular structures have a small size and mass more mass density and then in case of 3D structures, there um, to know the 3D structure, you need to know the position of the atoms in um, X, Y, and Z planes. And no two atoms can take the same place in this 3D scale or in this 3 coordinate system. And then NMR is used to know the um, NMR has an atomic level resolution. It can figure out the distance of the covalent bonds, and it has a resolution around one or two Armstrong around that and around 8 to 10 Armstrong alpha helix chains are visible and I mean higher resolution means more certainty that is more closer to truth and lower resolution means less certainty and one thing that 3 Armstrong is actually I mean has a higher resolution than 8 Armstrong I mean if Armstrong is more if if the unit before if the new numerical unit before Armstrong is before the unit Armstrong is more then that means it has a lower resolution and if it is low before the Armstrong that numerical unit or the numerical number that then the resolution is more so this is it and this first lecture was actually on 4th of March 2024 and the second lecture was actually on 5th of March 2024 and, and that is today and the thing is I came late to the class and um, more than that he actually showed at first he was actually showing the pictures 
of the different three structures in a slideshow or something like that in a video and in between these he said that structures actually increases the value of a paper and the images he, and one of the images he was actually show, that he was showing us of a single stranded rna he said that it was the images were actually collected and processed to give us three structures and other than that he showed us a slide um in the next next video i'm going to um open the slide and tell whatever he said maybe and explain the slide or something like that maybe